Good morning, Panthers. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Lacanto High School. This is Ron Burgundy, formerly of Channel 4 Action News, San Diego. And I'm here to interview some of the Lacanto High School football players. Here with Hayden Parker, uh, starting wide receiver for the Lacanto High School Panthers. So Hayden, tomorrow night, three year starter, right? Last home game for Lacanto. How does it feel? It it's weird because I it really doesn't feel like it should be my last home game. Like I really still feel like I have I've only been here for like a couple years. It doesn't seem like four years. It's it's flown by way too quick. So what do you think the key to winning tomorrow night's game is gonna be? Just playing all four quarters, just not giving up any big plays, just make sure we come out and get hundred percent. Every play. All right, now, for the viewers at home, a uh, little known fact about Hayden Parker, he's very superstitious. The start of him is eight year old playing sharks. Every, every night before game day, you have to eat Tyson dinosaur chicken nuggies, Kraft mac and cheese, and chalky milk. How did that come about? It just, um, one day before a game, I was, uh, I was craving the, some dino chicken nuggies and I got the one to make some and I had some crab mac and cheese with it and then washed out some chocolate milk and the next game I had like 10 touchdowns so I'm just keeping the tradition going. Oh, sounds like a plan to me. All right, let's go. I'm here now with Luke Malmberg. Luke uh, got injured the second game of the season. Uh, you've been out there with your guys. Tell me how it feels for you to be injured but still supporting your team. Uh, it kind of sucks because I really wanted to play this season, and but I'm solid their support. It's, it's good. It's all, it's all what they ask for, I'm sure. Uh, now, Luke, one of the strongest members of the team, if not in the entire school. I heard the reasoning behind that is your little brother, Burke. Your dad forced you to start lifting him at the age of five when he was three. And the reason why Burke is bigger than you is because you need more weight to squat and bench him. Tell me how you feel that's helped you become such a successful football player. That's a big kid, it's a lot of weight. Burke is a large individual. If you don't know Burke Mulmer, he is a large individual. All right. So I'm here now with uh, sensational sophomores, Amir Wilson and Darius Gay. This will go by the way, but he's not. I don't want to go around. Go around. go around. go around. So I'm here now with uh, sophomores, Amir Wilson and Darius Gaynor. Amir, first and foremost, uh, starting quarterback, starting at safety this week. Uh, tell me some of the uh, struggles of being so young and having to learn uh, games to be at the varsity level? Well, um, the offense is kind of a lot to process, a lot of plays. Um, having Coach Ross to be there and help makes it a little bit easier, but it's still a lot going through the weeks. And at safety, I think safety is easier, just having to read the quarterback and mainly just playing my position. Makes a lot of sense. Now, Darius also starting sophomore. How much of your success do you contribute to your JV head coach and offensive coordinator, Danny Allen? Uh, he's a big help uh, learning how to run the plays and being able to catch the football down the field. And he's a really good head coach and offense coordinator. Oh, great words for a great guy. Now, Darius, uh, quick kid, agile kid. Now, when you were younger, during the summers, you would go to your grandparents' alpaca farm in North Texas, and before you could eat dinner, you had to catch all 23 alpacas on the farm. Explain how that helped you be so successful. These alpacas, they're really, 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 really fast. So I just tried to corral all of them around me. Do you feel like that's translated to the field? Yeah, a little bit. Alpacas can be sneaky, folks. Now, Amir, what viewers may not know is at the age of four, all right, Amir has a rare birth defect where he was born with two left hands. So at the age of four, doctors successfully moved his thumb on what was supposed to be his right hand to the other side of his hand. So now he has a right hand and can grip a football and throw a football. That's quite an accomplishment and quite a bit of adversity you have to face. Please talk about how that adversity has affected you. Man, uh, I don't really know. It's kind of like, hey, hey, we're trying to conduct an interview here. What is this, amateur hour? I'm Ron Burgundy! Get out of here! Get! All right, free cam, what were you saying? Man, you know I'm sensitive! I'm here now with the head football coach, Coach Chop Alexander. Now, Coach, sitting at four and one, trying to go to five and one tomorrow night. What's the, what are some keys to tomorrow's night's success? 
Oh, uh, we got to make sure we protect the football. Got to make sure uh, you know we're tackling and blocking, doing things we need to do. And I think that you know I think we'll end up being victorious if we do those things. Have a pretty sound defense, pretty sound offense. Sounds like we know what we're doing to stop them. So four and one this year. A lot of people will attribute that success to you. However, your head JV coach has been nine and one over the past two years. How is Hicks' success and the JV success attributed to your success? Man, I think he's got similar minds to uh, like a, a Coach Belichick for the New England Patriots. So uh, he's, I mean, I, I pretty much like uh, I've been learning from him. You know, uh, you know. So uh, I think I think he's a very splendid coach indeed, and uh, and uh, I think that uh, our future is very bright having him as our uh, JV coach. Coach Danny Allen, very successful. Now, what many people don't realize is Chop's not your real name. It's actually Wendell. You got the nickname Chop because you were actually named after someone who saved your dad's life. Your dad and, of course, Wendell Robert LaFontaine were in the Everglades and an alligator attacked your dad and Wendell saved your dad. So your dad vowed to name you after him. And of course, he's a Cajun lumberjack, so his nickname was Chop, so you decided no one wants to be called Wendell. Right. So his nickname is now Chop. Right. And you proceeded to do that in high school only grew mutton chops, so you were definitely chopped. That is correct. Do you think we'll ever see the mutton chops again? Um, I'll tell you what, if we want to say championship, I'll wear mutton chops from now to Kingdom Comes. You heard it here first. The Canto High School wins the state championship. Coach Chop will rock the mutton chops. This has been Ron Burgundy. Stay classy, Lacanto.